Good evening and welcome to Golden Bears Stadium for tonight's football game between Brian and Evergreen on the Golden Bears Sports Network. My name is Chris Malanga and I've had the pleasure of being a part of these broadcasts since 2006. For approximately 120 games now, that's football only, not counting basketball, baseball, and softball, Jim Funderburg has been by my side as the voice of the Golden Bears. Through all these years, Jim and I have seen some bad teams and some great ones, including the Bears' first ever trip to the state playoffs. We work with some awesome football coaches, Arnold, Cooper, Klein, Redhead, and of course some pompous jackasses. No doubt we've put together a good program over the years. When thinking about my Friday nights over the past 12 years, these memories always involve Jim Funderburg. I was lucky enough to join Jim in his second season of broadcasting the Bears, and from the start I was hooked. Whether we were starting our season sitting in the bleachers at Van Wert, so our mics didn't pick up the coach's colorful language, to sitting in the bleachers, in the snow, at Liberty Center, and having them turn the lights out as we were cleaning up. It's been a great ride, Jim. I think of night games in the hood, with lights shining directly in our eyes and not on the field of play. I think of the steps falling off the press box at Swanton. It's breaking the news of our football coach going to a rival, or stopping play so John Downey could check the rule book at Archbold. It's no longer riding the crazy train to Montpelier, or having to basically call a JV game, when half of Delta's team quit mid-season. In the early years, before we got old and fat, it was throwing passes, kicking field goals, and lifting weights at summer camp. And the food, definitely the food. B-dubs at Fairview, chowder at Swanton, pizza of every variety from every little town in Northwest Ohio, the awesome food at the state playoffs, the home cooking at Liberty Center, and my favorite, prime rib in the press box at Shelby. Oh wait, you weren't there for that one. Sorry. While I'd like to say I thoroughly enjoyed every minute of our time together, that isn't entirely true. We've sat through some miserable weather and some miserable football. We've probably heard across the field and hang on Sloopy a thousand times each. We've seen fumbles and interceptions, bad blocking and tackling, mistakes and miscues, and even an 0-10 season. But we've also seen awesome touchdowns, come from behind victories, undefeated seasons, and onside kicks where you predicted exactly what was going to happen before it did, Swami. Through all the good and bad, one thing is constant. Your positive attitude and professionalism, as you've called not just football, but basketball, baseball, and softball with me. In all our time together, I can think of very few times where we're at odds with each other. That doesn't happen when you spend so much time with a person. I have learned so much from you, Jim. It's scary to say, but you've been a big part of my life and helped me become the man I am today. And everyone in Brian appreciates all you've done in your 13 years of broadcasting Brian Golden Bears sports. Along with them, I'd simply like to say thank you. Tonight is going to be a different kind of broadcast. Yes, the Bears have a chance to finish the season on a four-game winning streak. Yes, we still have a chance at the playoffs. Yes, we will still call the game. But tonight we will also celebrate you, Jim. I hope you enjoy this labor of love from all of us at the Golden Bears Sports Network. Thanks again, Jim. And go Bears! Jim, it's Brian Arnold. Congratulations on all the great years of service from BMU for the athletes and for us as coaches um, with all of the programs that you've done. Uh, as a former athletic director, I hope you know how much I appreciate all you did for all of our kids and all of our coaches, all of our programs. Um, and as a former head football coach, which I think might have been the first one to do your program, um, I want to tell you personally how much I appreciate everything you've done, the smiling face, the support through thick and thin for every one of us who have held that position um, and always being there for our kids. So again, thank you. Congratulations on all the great years and, and good luck as you move forward. Hey, Jim, Coach Billman here, um, and I just want to wish you well as you cover the Golden Bears for the last time um, over there at B, uh, for BMU. Um, I just want to say... What a tremendous honor it has been to work with you in the past. Um, you know, we, we saw a bunch of uh, great football games along the way in my career over there, and I'm sure in your career as, you, as you've gone through. Just to think back of all those Patrick Henry, Wasion, uh, Wasion football games, and you know, that great run we had in the playoffs, we saw some really good football. And uh, every time I hear some of those replays and hear your voice, it still gives, gives me chills. So I uh, just wanted to wish you well. Um, in your future endeavors. Um, it was uh, certainly a great run. Um, so good luck to you. Um, God bless and go Bears. 
Jim, congratulations on the 16 great years of being the voice of BMU. Uh, over those years, um, you know, we've done a, a lot of interviews together. I think uh, probably 30 plus interviews uh, during my time at Bryan. Uh, some of my first experiences of of uh, doing TV interviews were with you and, and Chris and, and Eric and uh, some great times and, and great conversations before and after games. Uh, I definitely know people are going to miss hearing your your voice, uh, that signature voice, but I know you're going to probably be re uh, enjoying your retirement. I think that you can probably find some pretty uh, fun and interesting things to do on Friday nights now that you have some free time. But congratulations. Jim, I just wanted to say congratulations, and I wanted to wish you the best of luck in your retirement. Um, I know it's something we all look forward to, and then when it's actually there, I think it's one of those things you're going to be like, what do I do now? Uh, Brian community is extremely lucky to have you. You've done a tremendous job over the years of covering local sports, and particularly the Golden Bears. I know when I was there, uh, I enjoyed our weekly meetings and just getting to know you as a person and, and saw that passion and, and could hear that passion in your voice when I would watch uh, our games replayed on BMU. Uh, you've done a tremendous job, and we just want to wish you the best of luck in whatever you do. Uh, you know, Chris had asked for a couple of stories. I, I think, you know, I will always remember just our, our weekly conversations uh, and just uh, your, your personality. I think you always did a fair job of covering sports, and it was a pleasure to talk to you and work with you, um, like I said. And, and I think the one big memory that stands out to me is, is when we were making our playoff runs and we had had some of those seasons, just some of those tight games we had. And the, and the one that stands out the most is probably the Patrick Henry game. Uh, where we had to cover recover two onside kicks. And uh, just the tremendous atmosphere that that game was in and of itself. And then when I was watching the replay of that game on BMU, uh, just listening to your excitement uh, and, and just listening to it come through in your voice. And then your ability to call the second onside kick uh, and for it to transpire exactly the way that you said it was going to happen. They said they need to fake something one way and come back the other way and, and get the onside kick, and, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. And, uh, you know, I think that's a credit to you and how much you watched sports and how much you cared about that situation and, and kind of knew what was going on. Uh, but it was just funny to hear an announcer basically call play-by-play -play what was going to happen before it happened. Um, definitely a special gift that you have. And, and, and like I said, it was a privilege and an honor and a joy uh, to work with you all those years and um, that, that community is going to miss you like I said but we, we definitely wish you the best in all that you do I uh, hope you just take care and uh, enjoy your retirement life so take care Jim Bye. Jim I understand you're retiring after 13 years of calling game for BMU congratulations on a great career I can't think of anyone in Bryan who's more enthusiastic about high school sports and especially Bryan high school sports than you I worked with you as a coach and athletic director in all phases I've always appreciated what you've done Congratulations and best of luck to what you do in the future. Hey Jim, it's Coach Redhead here. I just want to say thank you for three great years. Uh, I've enjoyed working with you. You're a top-notch broadcaster. You did a fantastic job. Go Bears. From the Bryan Athletic Department, thanks a lot, Jim, for all your years of service. Uh, congratulations on retirement, I guess is what we should say. And thanks for all you do. Good job, Jim.